Hey everybody, this is Charles Hoskinson broadcasting live from warm sunny Colorado. Today we're going to talk a little bit about delegation in Cardano. In particular, some things that are coming that I think you guys are going to get very excited about. Okay, delegation. Okay, in the beginning, when we launched Shelly, July 29th, we had uh, one wallet corresponds to uh, one pool. So one-to-one -one delegation. So if you wanted to delegate to many pools, you manually would have to split to N wallets to be able to delegate to uh, N pools. Uh, this was a simplifying implementation that allowed us to ship Shelly a little bit faster and also just kind of prime the pump. But it has some un undesired consequences in decentralization. Namely, most people probably are not going to do this step. And as a consequence, they do atomic delegation. So they delegate all of their ADA to just one pool. Whereas if they were given the choice to do one to many, uh, they would probably proportionally delegate which would benefit small pools a lot. So we're gonna introduce a feature, uh, namely one-to-many delegation. And we're gonna introduce this concept of delegation portfolios. And what's so cool about this concept is that it's user-driven. So basically the idea is that in the Daedalus interface, you have already all these tiles and they represent stake pools. So what you can do is you can select your favorite ones and the ratios. So maybe 10% and 20% to this one and 30% uh, to this one. So what's that uh, 60 and maybe 35% uh, to this one and 5% here. Okay, something like that. And then once you do that, it creates a portfolio. And our hope is to encapsulate that in something like a JSON file or some format like that, that basically just has these preferences of pools to amounts proportionally, so percentages. And then not only do you have the option to delegate to that portfolio, but you'll also have the option to share. So you can export it. And what this means is that users can create their own, basically, playlists or their own portfolios and share them with the broader community. So uh, basically, organizations like the foundation, instead of delegating to one pool or a collection of pools, can delegate to a portfolio that's been vetted for some reason. Uh, for example, it could be a socially beneficial portfolio. It could be a portfolio only of small stake pool operators. It could be a geographically biased portfolio like to Africa or to Japan, et cetera, et cetera. And you, the user, will be able to create these and share these yourself. And we have a great product called Atlas that's coming out soon. It's kind of our next generation explorer and it has a lot of really cool things. And we're going to create in Atlas a portfolio explorer. So in addition to being able to create your own lists and your own custom percentages and so forth, as a feature in Daedalus, you'll be able to upload those to Atlas at some point when that feature is uh, made available. And then other people can see them and share them. And you can put all kinds of metadata and other interesting things uh, behind it. So I think this will really help diversity in the ecosystem because now people can have a great user experience to do one-to-many delegation, uh, partial delegation to different pools. Uh, and in addition to that, people can be in the business of curating portfolios and lists and uh, adjusting those accordingly. So this is a new feature that's coming. It'll take a little while to get there. Another thing that we're doing uh, to help stake pool operators is we're thinking about how to upgrade Ledger and Trezor and in particular, I'm very interested in two features. Uh, we want to make sure that you can do one-to-many delegation, of course, in the hardware side. But I would love to have multi-sig pledge. As a feature. So 
many people can come together and then create a, uh, a pooled pledge between independent actors and have multi-sig control over that pledge and be able to do that through a hardware interface. So you can make sure that there's some good rules to access control. And then the other thing I would love to have, in addition to multi-sig pledge, which will allow small pools to work together, uh, is multi-sig pledge, KES generation, KES management. By doing key evolving signatures in the ledger and Trezor devices, you can guarantee secure erasure of the KES. And our hope is to make this a super easy experience. So basically you can have the most secure operating environment, air gapped trusted hardware that is separate from the system and it's offline, so it can't be penetrated. You can have multi-sig capabilities with that for pledge management and then have those offline devices manage your KESS. So that means that your hot machines, the machines actually making the blocks and these things, uh, the private keys are never exposed to the internet. And as a consequence, uh, that means an attacker, even if they compromise the hot machine, the machine connected to the internet, cannot compromise the underlying money. And this allows for stronger trust relationships amongst small pool operators. So pools can enter into associations with each other. And even if you individually don't have enough stake or uh, money to be able to be competitive, you might be able to partner with a few people and build a federated enterprise together to uh, be able to compete much more easily. And uh, easy cast management at the ledger and treasure level means that that protocol can be followed precisely. Uh, and then you also get the added benefit of a guarantee of secure erasure of the keys in CAS. So uh, this is gonna come as well. And we're right now working uh, with Vacuum Labs and we're bidding it out and talking to them. We also had a great meeting this week with stake pool operators about their requirements and favorite features and functionality. Uh, but this is another feature that we're gonna bid out and get as a firmware update to um, Cardano. So look for these things in the upcoming weeks and months. Uh, we'll get them out as soon as we can, delegation portfolios, and you'll be able to create your own. Super simple and easy to do. You just select the pools that you're interested in. You select the ratios for your wallet, and then you can generate a portfolio, and then you can delegate to that portfolio, uh, or you can export uh, that portfolio uh, to uh, send it to a friend over email. They can import it, or eventually you'll be able to upload it to Atlas and be able to import that. And we'll talk to the Uroi guys about support for this as well, so that Uroi can follow the same standard and be able to import preferences and so forth. So you guys can mix and match and share, and there's gonna be a lot of cool community curation. And we will get to a world of one to end as soon as we can. All right, so simple video of some new things that are coming on the delegation side. Uh, we've just seen an overwhelming response and it's great to see how fast the ecosystem is evolving. And it's so cool to see how people are, uh, are really just taking the system to the next level. And so that's an indication to us that we need to speed up too. And we need to make sure that we keep with you guys in the community because it's so, uh, so incredible to see how fast things are coming along. Thanks, uh, thanks for listening. I'll talk to you soon.